I'm on strong. I gotta give it a go, yeah. I gotta grind. Working for money in the door, yeah. yeah. Stop wasting time. You wasting your time, bro. Welcome back to the podcast. Um, today I'm here with Jello Juice. I'm Rosina. I have to know what it is. Uh, and I'm Ronia. And today's question is, is there a double standard when it comes to cheating in relationships? Who's fun? Who go first? Yeah, I definitely think there's, <laughs> there's no double standard. What? There's no double standard. Well, my I'm answer shocked right? with this response. What do you mean? Yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no double standard. Like, cheating is cheating. Like, what do you mean? I think that some people, if I got to keep speaking, I think that some people may say like, oh, this is not cheating, but this is cheating. For example, like some guy may say like, oh, you talking to, you making yourself available to me, that's considered cheating, you know what I mean? Versus like a woman saying, you like another girl's photos online, that could be cheating. You know what I mean? If, if we plan in times of those things, I mean, that's where it's going to be some gray areas. Like, you guys got to communicate that problem out. Yeah. But if it's just simply like you smashing somebody or you entertaining to go meet up and you hanging out doing dates, emotionally cheating and things like this, like, to me, that's, that's cheating. There's no double standard. Well, my, like, perception of the question was more uh, that guys find it not okay that women cheat, but it's okay if, guys yeah, cheat. yeah exactly because okay. women are more so emotional many. cheaters yeah. and guys like just fuck okay for sure we can unpack that you know? okay, wait, wait. Yeah. Do, you have to repeat that and let me make sure i gather that correctly before we <laughs> before we did one no I, i'm I, i'm explain it for you the, what she's pretty much saying is that men say that it's okay if we cheat but if a woman cheats it's no it's not okay do you agree with that Cheating is cheating. Yeah. But like, if, I, if I take, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I like to put religion and spirituality and things. But if I, if I take that aside, you know, I think that, you know, what men, so no, no, I don't agree with it. <laughs> I don't agree with it. Let me say that. But I, I think that when it comes to like just human nature, you know, men want to smash a little bit more. I'm going to speak general right now. Speak general. Is that okay, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably speaking like that. Yeah, no, no. Men, men, men want to smash a lot. With you, men want to smash a lot, and oftentimes, if we do hook up with a chick, like we probably now have no emotional connection. But when a woman, not all women, but a lot of women, when they do have sex with another man, it can create emotional attachment. And she sometimes, if she's already in a relationship, she already she got that built up already in her towards that other guy. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, like, I feel like it's just, there's no, like, generally women or generally men. It's like, it all depends on the person. And for me, I can say that me and my girlfriends and, if, like, uh, people who I've seen throughout my life, like, women can definitely just have sex for the sex. Totally physical. Yeah, I think that's a more modern like, day thing. Like, how about actually... Well, we live in the modern... Actually, let me, ask you more, let me ask you more direct question. Like, do you want to have sex with a lot of men in your life? Uh, no, not necessarily. But if I ask a lot of men that same question, most men will say, yes, they want to have sex with a lot of women. Most, If I ask most women that same I mean, question, they will say, no, they don't. They would rather have sex with one guy that they love, while men will want to have sex with the woman they love, plus other chicks. Well, I don't think it's that... Like general, like I don't think it's like that. I mean, that's an easy question to put to the test. Like I can go to the streets with that one with a microphone saying, "Hey, bro, do you want to have sex with lots of girls?" And he'd be like, "Absolutely." I think most <laughs> men would say that. Obviously, if I go to a bunch of women. I know, even if they do have an alternative motive, like, "Damn, I'm on camera. I don't want to say this." I think most women generally don't want to have sex with. Them. Okay, so your friends they like to have a lot of sex. Yeah, with a lot of different men. Definitely. Absolutely. How about your friends? I don't think they would put it as a goal in life, but I don't think they mind having a lot of sex. Yeah. 
I mean, also, you know, this feminist culture and most westernized countries, you know what I mean? There's been a different thing, but I still even think within it, like they, they're not with that same move. And this is like a different question than cheating. Because but I'm, like, I'm just bringing it up, you know, because the whole point of me is bringing that up was that most men, if they do cheat, it's like they almost see it as like, maybe I don't, I don't care about her. And are we talking about like uh, having sex with a lot of people or are, are we talking about cheating? Because it, cheating is what you, what two people in a relationship decide is cheating. It's not just, there are open relationships, for example. For sure. Like, you yeah, know, that's then thing. it's not cheating if you have sex with someone else, you know. Cheating is when you like break the rela relationship rules. For sure. And that's definitely something that guys do way, way more. For sure. And I, I agree to like the rule things. But I think if we be honest, the, the real question was in, in a relationship, we most know, likely know that if, the you mainstream have, relationship. If, you have, if you put your penis or you open up your legs to another person, we're talking about this. And if a guy does it, he thinks that he is justified. While if, if a woman does it, it's like, oh, hell no. You know what I mean? It's, no, and I think that's what you was pretty much communicating. Yeah. You understand the question. So right? is that is that the point of your question? Like, like is it more like sexual? When you say yeah, is there a double standard? I mean, I guess based on what we just unpacked, the answer would be yes. But like she's saying different words for men. Cheating theoretically is getting the rules of the relationship. So. To be quite honest, like as far as the double standard, I don't think so because I think she, she, I do believe that relationship wise, like 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 y'all say too, like men we push the baggage a lot more. And from my my own experience and I guess what I think I understand about life, women are way more forgiving than men. So we I don't know if we do it intentionally, but we do a lot more shit and sometimes we get away from that much shit. But we don't take what we give. If it makes sense. I think that's why you say like, like oh, that's why you suggest that there's a double standard. Just like, so you know, as a bro, I just think it, bro. Like you say, we have a sex, that's strictly physical. So we try to justify it, like you say, as I don't care what the girl Because you try to make that not to your girl, but to your girl is making it use with somebody else. And you're trying to get forgiven, and you, you're trying to keep it, save your relationship. But if that girl wants to go do the same thing, we end up in for sure, we ain't up in the box. So I think that's your question. Like I said, we unpacked it. Yes, it's a double standard. But to what she said too, like I guess it depends on what you are making in that relationship. Okay. Yeah. You guys have nothing to say? No. No, no I mean, I got, I, yeah, I have to say. Yeah, no, I have, I have nothing to say. I mean, obviously, she brought up like if you put rules in your relationship, this open relationship is like, most guys, if they had a situation, it's open on the guy's end, closed on the woman's end. Unless she bringing in like another woman, you know what I mean? That's the but guys. Yeah, but that's the, that's the thing that like so many men like don't want to open up the relationship, but they do want to cheat. Mm, yeah. So, so you, when, when you say. My, you're making my thing more, my, my point more valid. valid. Yeah. Like guys, yeah, guys want to smash as much as they want. They don't want their woman, you know, smashing a bunch of. You know what I mean? This, I guess. Like even before they even. Why is it that's the double standard? Like yeah. why? Why? I mean, it's been like this since the beginning of time. You know, it's like. <laughs> but why? I mean, like, like when a situation comes up, like when. That's it's, just when, self, self, self. guys. You want to do whatever. You know, yeah, like, yeah, when, I just want to about you. You are locked up. Like, like that's fucked. When this conversation comes up, sure it is. It is so, messed up. And it's <laughs> so you find a way to put yourself on the field, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking. Like yeah. generally, and when this conversation comes up, women always want to defend like as if like they want to do the same actions as a man. Like so it's funny. like if you if you if they do, that's their thing. Like most guys don't want to. Back to 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 I've heard stories about experience like, I don't know, like you said, it's a money, or maybe, maybe, I don't know. That's like, from understanding, that's why I must bring it back that I think women are more emotional creatures than men. That's why I say, I guess, as far as 
if you can get in a relationship with somebody like a monogamous relationship, obviously, for a woman to cheat, that I believe it's more of an emotional attachment. They just, oh, I keep you on know, my relationship. I just, I just get, I just having sex. Whereas men, like we, we, that, that's how we're fast as just say. Like, but if, I feel if like that's shorty, just so like generalized. What? Like, I, it's not I, like that. Like, I think, I think from my experience of what I understand, okay, it's not like that out here, bro. It's kind of, no like, country is not like that. Yeah. Like, like most girls, like if a girl is smashing another guy while you're in a relationship with her, she probably will leave that relationship and go be with that nigga. While we're smashing other chick, we'd be like, bro, I, don't, I would I would not want to be in a relationship with her. Yeah. I just saw something physical, physical about her. She gave me that sexy vibe, you know, I was in the wrong place and, you know, and, and I'm not saying it. I just slipped with that a bit. And I'm not thinking for myself. I'm not thinking for myself. I'm not thinking for myself. I'm not like exactly the same experience. What? Like, you know, having sex with guys who I don't want to like in a relationship with, even if I have the chance. While you were in a relationship? No. I mean, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, no. So she advocated, she pretty much advocated for the women that can't do it. Sexual, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be some rare women out there. It's not like, rare. I mean, ask. It, it's not, it's not a Finnish girl. I mean, I've been look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here in Finland. I've been in Sweden. I know, I know the vibes. I know, I know exactly where to go. If you just want a one night thing, I know exactly where you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to commit a relationship, you know, I to think go. I know where to go. <laughs> I think I know where to go. So. And then like, I'm here, like hooked up culture is just like it's just way different than mm-hmm. being in the states versus out here it's like the feminism created this thing like oh guys can smash all these girls we can do the same thing too and they just hurt and they hurt themselves to be honest it's not helping oh. they hurt themselves mentally they do they, or are you hurting yourself mentally i do, do I, 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 to be honest i used to think i used to think toxically that i wasn't but i am i did hurt myself mentally I don't so, think there's anything that yeah, you hurt yourself mentally. Yeah, mentally for, for like for like trying to settle down with a woman for hundred percent. What you mean? What like hooking you? up with a lot of women, you know, you know, you listen to some people saying like you need to smash like fifty girls, hundred, you know what I mean, things like this, as if like that's gonna be beneficial for you in the future. But as if it's like, yeah, but it, it does not help you. It is beneficial. It's it's not. It is. Like what you create, you create what, what you all saying, man? Like, like, not well, when I say beneficial, it's like it's going to. Well, what do you say, beneficial or not? What do you call it beneficial? Or not? Like, just, if it's going to be, I would love to say like, is that like the end goal when you want to be with somebody romantically is to, to have a marriage and have a successful relationship. If that's like, if you want, smash man. too many different people, it, it you you got too much trauma, too much um, uh, emotional, and uh, what do you what do you call that with uh, soul ties yeah. to someone else, and you. Can be in a situation where you're like smashing your wife, thinking about that girl from Helsinki that gave you that that guap guap three thousand. You know what I mean? Like you 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 got all these you got some of these images in your head. Like she's not doing it the same way. Oh, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it, it, it creates some trauma. Experience, like, sexual like, sexual but I like looking at porn. Huh? Kind of like looking at porn. Yeah, like porn is the same way as well. Yeah. It's almost. It, it's. I think it's oh, just as equal. Go. I think yeah. it's just as equal. Equal as what? It's like building things inside of your mental when you're trying to settle down with someone, I think it affects you, 100%. I, I think so. so. I 100%. I think I understand what you're saying. When you say it affects you, like you said, you have so much experience, now you're trying to be one person, and any little thing you that you could think of, I guess, like you say, you're thinking about all these different scenarios or situations you've been in, or different experiences you have in, what about the situation that you're in, instead of just, I guess, fully existing in, as you just said? Well, yeah. I guess if you're having so many flashbacks, then maybe you shouldn't like. Maybe <laughs> you shouldn't be fucking girls that much. Then, <laughs> like, I don't know what I to mean, say. I don't know what to say. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I just think like the message and like. I can live my life and, you know. For sure. I mean, some normally, people. Some, 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 people some people can do that. I'm just saying. You you ask me. I'm saying yeah, it did affect me. It does yeah. affect me, and it did affect me. And uh, but know? if your goal is like to be married and things like that you know, of course in that situation like you're doing the wrong thing by like having sex with many people and for sure doing that. i so, mean like, so, like you're just doing the wrong thing for your goal but like there are benefits to fucking many people like what, you can, what benefits you get from smashing a lot of people well you get to know yourself better you get to know what you like you know get to know what you like 
emotionally and sexually you get to like experience a lot of different experiences you learn about yourself i, I know there's probably a little bit too much that i'm about to say is like from my experience some girls that i used to think like oh like this is i had this one i had a little bit of toxic mindset as well i just think like the girls that the girls that smash like a lot of guys they'll be like amazingly good and bad you know but then when i when i discovered like some girls have been in a relationship with one guy for like five years or like seven years it's like they were sometimes a lot more better than the girls that I know, so. yeah because the thing is like they learn when they have the honest communication about what you like like do it like this and things like this they just do it way better i i don't know mm -hmm. why but it's just, it just like that and i can't believe that so what i'm trying to say is like you don't need to experience a thousand men just to understand of your body experience. yeah, you, yeah. You, don't, you don't need that that's fair. I, I don't I, yeah, I that's just fair. I, that. I, that's I do agree but that. i do agree with her i agree with both of you like new experiences with new people really mm -hmm. get you really get to know yourself yeah. but i also agree with you that ex exploring with someone can make you like in a comfortable scenery makes you more like open-minded yeah. try new stuff so uh truth to both of you yeah wow you talk around okay so that's the topic for today um like share subscribe comment and yeah am i strong i gotta give it a go yeah i gotta grow working for money in the door yeah, yeah.